So the reason why we started the FX accumulator, uh, the short answer is, is that we wanted a lower risk al fixed income alternative to our flagship FX bond fund. Um, the FX bond fund has is by nature a, a lower risk investment, but we wanted to make it a little bit more safer. So what we saw in the pandemic is that there was a fall off in fixed income asset prices. Uh, so investors in the FX bond fund, uh, you know, became concerned when they saw that fall off in the asset price. So we thought of ways that we could mitigate it. And the, the, the primary way that we could do that is, is to invest in, in assets that have shorter maturity and assets that have a higher, higher credit quality. So we, we thought that the best way to, to approach that was, was to create a new fund which had a concentration of those assets. So when there are times of stress in the market, these assets, while they may fluctuate in price, they may not fluctuate to the, the same degree that the assets in the FX bond portfolio uh, would fluctuate. So how we, we, we see this, this fund is, is that it will do you know, a little bit better than the FX bond portfolio in times of stress. Um, and it will sort of underperform the FX bond portfolio in normal times. Uh, we think that, that it would be good to have an allocation to both um, the FX bond fund and the FX accumulator. Um, and, you know, the allocation would be determined by your risk tolerance. So, you know, if you're a little bit, you know, risk averse, then you allocate a little bit more to the, to the FX accumulator. And you know, if you can tolerate a little bit more risk, if your risk horizon, if your investment horizon is, you know, you know, longer, you can, you know, allocate a little bit more to the, the FX bond fund. You know, you you can interchange as you you progress along your investment horizon. So as you be, as you come closer to to what we would say cashing out or realizing your portfolio, then you can put you know, like uh, more of it into the FX accumulator. I think that this is the perfect time to launch the FX accumulator because asset prices are low. Um, you know, if you if you get into the FX accumulator now, you would be locking in um, rates that we haven't seen, you know, for the last 10 or 15 years, um, you know, going forward. So we think that this is the perfect time to launch the FX accumulator. The asset prices aren't as high as central banks across the world, um, you know, look to fight inflation and they're, you know, raising, in, raising interest rates. It's a good time, you know, to get into the, the fixed income market. And if, as I said, if you're risk averse, the FX accumulator is, is the investment for you.